Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Black Panther Minecraft pixel art tutorial. So, just a heads up, we're going to be continuing this pixel art tutorial series with just one screen instead of forcing you to look at one side of the screen and squinting your eyes trying to figure out where I'm placing the blocks. I'm just going to go ahead and have just one screen. So, it's better viewing for you so you can see where I'm placing the blocks more accurately. And since we no longer are going to have the second screen, at least uh, for now, so seeing if this is the best method. Uh, I'm going to be backing up a bit uh, here and there, so you can go ahead and see the whole thing. And of course, make sure to leave your timestamps if you're going to be taking a break throughout any video, this video or any other pixel or tutorial video, in the comments. So that way, when you do come back, you can just scroll down, look for your name, and then you can look for your timestamp, and that'll uh, tell you exactly where you left off. Okay. So, we're going to start off the tutorial with the black concrete. So, we're going to find this area here, find these three black concretes. We're going to start from the bottom block on the right side of it. We're going to put a placement block on the right side of it, so put one block there. Switch over to the black concrete, starting underneath the placement block. So, from there, we're going to be adding just five black concretes going to the left, and that's one, two, three, four, five. Give her that placement block. And now starting on the left side of these five black concrete, so starting from there, we're going to be adding four blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And then we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. So now let's fly back down here. And what we're going to do next is switch over to the white wall. So let's switch over to the white. The white wall. And we're going to start uh, on top of this one black concrete. So starting from right there, we're just going to be placing just one white wall. So that's one. And then from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one two. Next we're going to be switching over to the white concrete. On top of the white wool right here, we're going to be placing two white concretes going up. That's one, two. Next you're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And on top of the light gray wall, we're just going to be placing one light gray concrete. So that's one. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray, or yeah, the gray concrete. Let's start with the gray concrete. And with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling just three empty spaces. It's going to be this space here, this space here, and this space here. These three small spaces with the gray concrete. So go ahead and fill those in. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to be filling in this remaining empty space that's right here with the black wool. So let's fill that in. There we go. It should look like that. Now that we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the black concrete. But before I do that, let me just go ahead and get a little organized. I'm going to be putting most of these blocks away. So that way it's a little easier for me to uh, know exactly where to look for the block. Even though I'm going to be using them again. Okay, so we're going to start off with the black concrete again, and this time we're going to go back over here to the right block of these five black concrete, so starting from right there. We're going to be placing just one black concrete going down to the right. So that's one. Oops. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one at two. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the white wool. And we're going to be placing one white wool underneath these two black concrete, so that's one white. 
Next, you're going to be placing another white wool going uh, up to the left. So that's one. Then we're going to be switching over to the black wool. And then on top of this white wool, we're going to be adding two black wools going to the left. So that's one and two. Next, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the cyan. Uh, no, not the cyan. We're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And on top of this one black wool here, we're going to be adding one light gray concrete. So that's one. And on the left side of this black wool, we're also going to be adding one light gray concrete. So that's one. Once you've done that, then we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're just going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Or not the wool, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, the gray wool. There we go. <laughs> Switch over to the gray wool, and starting on the left side of this cyan terracotta with the gray wool, we're going to be placing three blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three. And then we're going to be switching back over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be placing three cyan terracottas going across on top of these three gray wools. So that's one, two, three with the terracotta. And then switch back over to the gray wool and fill in this small space that's right here with the gray wool. Fill that in. So it should look like that. Alright, so once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is switching back over to the black concrete. So. Let me just go ahead and get a little organized again. Just want to place these blocks back in order. Okay, so let's switch back over to the black concrete. Let's move back over here to the right. And starting on the right side of this one white wool, so starting from right there, with the black concrete, we're just going to be placing two blocks going down. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is starting from here. Just uh, We're going to be placing two blocks going at diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. Let's get rid of those placements. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. And now from the bottom block on the left side of these two, we're just going to be adding one black concrete. So that's one. So it looks like a backwards L shape. And now from this one block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three down to the left. And it should be making contact with these other black concretes that we had here. So now what we're going to be doing is switching over to the white concrete. So the white concrete, we're going to move down here to the, because we've made a space here we cut this area off or close this area off and starting down here on top of this gray wool with the white concrete we're just going to be placing one block so that's one then you're going to be switching over to the light gray wool and then we're going to be placing a light gray wool on the right side of it so that's one next we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete and with the light gray concrete on top of this white concrete we're going to be placing one block so that's one then switch back over to the white concrete and place one white concrete on top of this light gray wool. So that's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the white wool. So switch over to the white wool. And on top of this one white concrete. So from there we're going to be placing four whites going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. That's four blocks. That's four. So once we place our four, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be switching blocks. We're going to be switching over to the white concrete. Now with the white concrete, we're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the right. So six diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. And now that we've done that, we're going to go down here. We're going to start from this empty space down here. Uh, and from that empty space, we're going to be switching over to the, the light 
gray concrete. And starting from this empty space, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the Cyan Terracotta. So now with the Cyan Terracotta, starting from this empty space here, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. So let's switch over to the gray wool now. And like we've done before, let's go back to this empty space here. I'm going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right with the gray wool. So three diagonal. That's one, two, three. And then from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Then you're going to be switching back over to the sign terracotta, and we're only going to be filling in these two small spaces here with the sign terracotta. So just fill these two right here, one and two, with the terracotta. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the gray concrete, and now with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the gray concrete. So fill this in, and it should look like that. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing next is we're actually going to move all the way back. Uh, well, actually, no, some, we'll get to that in just a bit. Uh, what we're going to do is stay with the gray concrete. So with the gray concrete, we're going to move back over here to these two black wools, and we're going to start underneath this black wool right there. We're going to be placing seven gray concretes going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three, four five, six, seven. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool. Since there's no area for the black wool, or space, I should say. There you go. Alright, so with the black wool, we're going to move back up here. Let's move back up here to make it easier. And let's go back to where we placed the first gray concrete, underneath the gray concrete right there. With the black wool, we're going to be placing eight of these going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight blocks going diagonal down to the left. And now what we're going to be doing next involves us switching over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray, gray concrete, we're going to move back to that one black wall. And we're just going to be adding one light gray concrete. So that's one. Then you're going to be switching over to the sign terracotta. And we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left with the terracotta, so that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're gonna be switching over to the light gray concrete, light gray concrete, and we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left with the light gray, so that's one and two. Now that we've done that, what we're gonna be doing next involves us switching back over to the white concrete, and with the white concrete, we're gonna move down here and find these two black concrete. They're part of a linked set that we had here in a previous part, but on top of these two, on, on top of the right block, we're going to be placing one white concrete. So that's one down here, so it looks like that. Okay. And once you've done that, you're going to move back up here to the right a bit, and we're going to start from this backwards L shape on the left side of it, so on the left side of this black concrete, so right there. We're going to be placing three of these blocks going diagonal, or not three, we're going to be placing five of these blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray wool, and we're going to be filling in the remaining of these spaces with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and do that. Fill those empty spaces with the light gray wool. Fly back again so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. Alright, so what we're going to do next is get organized. So I'm going to go ahead and put away all of these blocks. You can do the same thing so you can see that uh, I organize them by, if you haven't uh, guessed it already, by the color of the shade. So from the left side, it's darker, and then going down uh, down from left to right, or from left to right, it's going uh, lighter. This just helps me understand where exactly I'll have to look for the different type of shadings. So we're going to start off with the black concrete. We're going to start up here. Uh, 
find these two black concretes that are going down to the right. They're the furthest one of this entire outline right here. So starting from the bottom block on the right side of it, so starting from right there, we're just going to be placing one black concrete. So that's one. So now we have an L shape, okay? So now from this one block, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to be placing one block going, or not one, sorry, two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's two. That's one and two. Whoops. Two. Okay. Again, I'll flat pack so you can see that it should look like that so far. Okay, next we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one at two. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. So now what we're going to be doing next is placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Go to the placement. Next, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be switching over to the black wall. So let's switch over to the black wall. And now starting underneath the right block of the five black concretes. So starting from right there, we're going to be adding two blocks going down. That's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place one block going down to the left. That's one. And starting underneath this one black wall, so from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three. Next, starting on top of the left block of these three, so from there, we're going to go ahead and place two blocks going up. That's one and two. And then we're going to be switching over to the gray, uh, the gray wall. <laughs> And with the gray wool, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right, so that's one. And then switch over to the gray concrete, and with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray concrete, so fill this in. Next, let's switch over to the black wool, starting underneath the middle block of these three, so going back to these three uh, black walls. Underneath the middle, we're just going to be placing one black wool, so that's one. Once you've done that, we're going to move over here to the left block of these three, blocks going across, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two black walls going down on the left. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray concrete. And, you know, with the gray concrete, starting underneath the two black walls, we're going to be placing one gray concrete, so that's one. And then from this block, we're going to be placing one block going down on the left. Or I should say two blocks going down on the left. That's one and two. There we go. That's two blocks, not one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Okay, pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the black concrete. And with the black concrete, let's go back up here. We're going to go back to the five blocks that we had here going across with the other uh, black concrete. So starting from the left block of the five, so from here, we're going to go ahead and place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, whoops, there we go, two, across to the left like that. Now once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down uh, up to the left, going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Next, place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing it two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the black wool. 
And starting on the left side of these two black concretes that we just placed, so starting from there with the black wool, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the up to the right. So three diagonal up to the right, that's one, two, and three. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over real quick to the gray concrete, and we're going to move back down here. Underneath this black wool, we're just going to be placing one gray concrete, so that's one. And once you've done that, we're just going to move back down here to the right. Let's go all the way back down here to the right. Back to where we started from these two black concretes. Next to the five black concretes. Starting next to the five black concretes, we're going to switch over to the white concrete. And on the left side of these five, we're going to be adding two whites going uh, to the left. That's one, two, with the concrete. And now starting on top of this white concrete, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the left. That's one, two. So it looks like that. Just put this away because we're going to be needing a lot more space. Alright, so once you've gotten that done, we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to be placing one light gray on the left side of this white concrete. So that's one. And on top of this white concrete, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now, with the light gray concrete, on top of these three blocks right here, we're going to be placing three light gray concretes going across them. So that's one, two, three. And now, starting on top of this light gray concrete, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the left. That's one, two. Now, we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. Now with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta on the left side of these two light gray concrete, so that's one terracotta. And now on top of these three blocks, we're going to be placing three cyan terracottas going across them, so that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool on top of these four blocks, we're going to be placing four gray wools going across on top of them. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray concrete and fill in the remaining empty space that's right here with the gray concrete. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next is getting a little organized again. So let me go ahead and put these blocks in the correct shading order. Alright, so switch back over to the black concrete now. Let's head back down here. Let's go back to the four, or I said the four. Let's go back to the two black concretes. There is a four coming up, which is why I said that. So let's go, going back to these uh, two black concretes, starting underneath the right block of these two. So from there, we're going to be adding two blocks going down. So that's one and two. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block, head back down here, and from here we're going to be placing it two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. Let's get rid of that. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray wool, uh, wool, gray wool <laughs> real quick. And with the gray wool, we're just going to be filling in these two empty spaces here. This small space that's down here and this other empty space that's right here. Fill that in with the gray wool. There we go. Alright, so once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the gray concrete. Now with the gr gray concrete, let's head down here, going back to these two black concretes. On the left side of it, so starting from right there, we're going to be placing two blocks going up with gray concrete. So that's one, two. Then you're going to be placing one block going up to the right, so that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the black concrete. Now with the black concrete, we're going to move back up here. Let's go back to the four that we had here going down, starting from the top block of these four. So from there, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left, so that's one. Once you've done that, starting from this one block, we're going to be placing it two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one and two. And now starting underneath the left block of these two, so starting from right there, we're going to be adding seven black concretes going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the black wool. 
And with the black wall, we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the black wall. So fill this in. There we go. Next, we're going to switch back over to the black concrete, and we're going to head back up here, back to the two that we had here going across, starting from the left block, so from this block. We're going to go ahead and place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Next, starting underneath the left block of these two, so starting from right there, we're going to be adding eight blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now let's switch over to the gray concrete. In between these two black concretes down here, so on top of the grass right there, we're going to be adding two gray concretes going up. That's one, two. Next, you're going to switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool on top of these two concretes, we're going to be adding two, or not two, four gray wools going up. Four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then you're going to quickly switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in just this small spot right here with the terracotta. So fill that in with the cyan. Terracotta. There we go. Now let's switch back over to the black concrete. Let's move back up here, going back to these two, starting from the left block. So from here, we're going to be placing, oh, actually starting on top of it. So starting from there, we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going to the left. So that's one and two. So it looks like this. Okay. Now switch back over to the placement block, starting on top of the left block of these two. So right there, we're going to be adding one placement block, so that's one. And now let's switch over to the black concrete, starting on the left side of the placement. So from there, we're going to be adding six black concretes going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's head back up here, get rid of the placement block, head back down. And now from here, we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Step back up, get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, let's move down here uh, next to this black concrete of the eight that we had here placed on the left side. So from there, we're just going to be adding five gray wools going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five gray wools. And now switch over to the cyan terracotta and fill in the remaining two empty spaces here with the cyan terracotta. Fill that right up. There we go. Once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the black concrete. Now with the black concrete, going back to the top block of these six black concretes that we had here going down. So starting from here, we're going to go ahead and place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one at two. Next, you're going to go ahead and place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing from here two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one and two. As you can see, it should be making contact with that other gray concrete that we had there. Just, uh, we placed a little while ago. So again, I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to switch over to the, the sign terracotta. Let's switch to the sign terracotta. And with the sign terracotta, let's go back to the two black concretes that we placed. So going back to these blocks here, or this block specifically, the left block. Uh, we're going to be placing three sign terracottas going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. So it should look like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one at two. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the black concrete. And with the black concrete, starting underneath these two uh, blocks. So from here, we're just going to be placing it three black concretes going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the black wall. And with the black wool starting on top of this black concrete, so from there we're going to be placing three black walls going diagonal up to the right. So three diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to move back to this black concrete starting on the left side of it. With the black wool, we're going to go ahead and place from here three black walls going down. That's one, two, three. And now 
we're going to be placing one black wall going down to the right. So, at one. Now, once we've done that, we're just going to quickly switch over to the gray concrete. And with gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's up here, just this spot right here, with the gray concrete, staying within the outline. So, just fill this in. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now let's switch back over to the black concrete. Now with the black concrete, let's go back to this one black wall. On the left side of it, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. That's two diagonal. And then we're going to quickly switch over to the black wall. And we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with the black walls. So fill this in. Now once you've done that, switch back over to the, uh, to the black concrete, starting underneath this black wall here. So from there, we're going to be adding two black concretes going down. That's one at two. Next, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once we've done that, we're just going to quickly switch over to the black wall, and we're going to be filling in the empty, the empty spaces here with the black wall. So let's go ahead and fill in those empty spaces. There we go. Next, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray concrete. Now with the gray concrete, let's move down here on the right side of this black wall here. So from there, we're going to be placing four gray concretes going diagonal up to the left. So four diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Once you've done that, switch over to the cyan terracotta, and on top of this gray concrete with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going up. That's one, two, and three. Next, switch over to the gray concrete, and we're going to be filling in this empty space over here to the left with the gray concrete. So fill this in. There we go. Once you've done that, switch back over to the black concrete. Let's go back to these three signed terracottas, starting from the top block on the right side of it. So starting from here, we're going to be placing two black concretes going down. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here, or just just two, I should say. I should clarify, not this space up here. We're going to leave this empty for now. We're going to come back to this in just a bit, but just these two empty spaces: this space right here and this space right here get filled in with the cyan terracotta. So let's go ahead and fill those in. Let's just do that now. And uh, we'll continue on probably filling in uh, that next empty spot and hopefully uh, getting another outline or two done. Let's fill this in. And there we go. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Make sure to fly back a bit if you need to and pause the video if you need to just to compare. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next involves us switching over to some uh, different type of blocks. And that is starting off with the cyan terracotta. Now, uh, we're going to start at the bottom right spot of this empty space. So we're going to start on top of these four black concretes with the cyan terracotta. So starting from there, we're going to go ahead and place six blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two three, four, five, and six. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is you're going to be switching over to the, let's see, the, okay, I don't have it in my inventory, which is why I was confused. We're going to be switching over to the, uh, the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this, these two empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So this and this filled in. Now, let's switch back over to the gray concrete. Let's go back up here, back to the top block of these six that we placed. On the left side of this terracotta, we're going to be adding one gray concrete. So that's one gray concrete. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing one gray concrete going up to the left. That's one. 
And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the gray wool. So go ahead and fill those empty spaces with the gray wool. And we can go ahead and move on. There we go. So again, it should look like this. Make sure to pause the video now if you need to, just to compare it. Now, while we still have the gray wool in our hand, let's move over here to the left. Let's go back to this one black concrete on the left of, after we place these five here, that came after these five. So going back over here to this one black concrete, on the left side, just place one gray wool. So that's one. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and switch over to the black concrete because we're going to do a little outlining. Starting from this one block here, the black concrete, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So two diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing it three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. Three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And from here, we're just going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. And uh, don't worry about... Whoops! Don't want to get rid of that. <laughs> I was going to say, don't worry about that black wall there. That should be there. It's just your center block. We're going to come back to that in... Uh, a future part. I don't think we're going to get to that in this part yet. So forget about that center block. Okay. So now that we have this one black concrete here, what we're going to do next is just switch over to the light gray concrete and add one light gray concrete on the left side of it. So that's one. And now let's move to these two black concretes on the left side of it. We're going to be adding one gray concrete. So that's one. And now let's move back up here going to these two black concrete that are making contact with these other two blacks that we had here going diagonal down to the left. Uh, make sure it's these two, not this one here, just this one. On the left side of it, we're just going to be placing one light gray concrete, so that's one. So it should look exactly like this, okay? Make sure it looks like this. Now let's switch back over to the black concrete, starting on the left side of this block of the light gray concrete. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two black concretes going down, that's one, two. Whoops, there we go. Two. So next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray wool. Let's fill this in. There we go. Now let's switch back over to the black concrete. Let's move over here to the left. And let's move uh, to the bottom block of these two that we had here. So starting from this block here, on the left side of it, we're going to be placing one black concrete. So that's one. So it looks like a backwards L shape. All right, so now starting from this one block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. Let's go to that placement block. And now starting from the bottom block of these two here, uh, on the right side, so from there we're going to be placing one black concrete. So that's one. So it looks like an L shape. We have a backwards L and just a regular L. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta on top of this black concrete. We're going to be placing one cyan terracotta on top of it. So that's one. And on the right side of the black concrete, we're also going to be placing another cyan terracotta. So that's one. Once you've done that, switch over to the light gray concrete and fill in these two empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. Light gray, there we go. Fill that in. It should look like that. Very simple and easy. Now comes this next tricky part. It's going to be a puzzle, basically. Uh, we're going to start off by moving back up here, going back to that one black concrete that was next to that one gray wool that we had there. Uh, let's switch over to the light gray wool and place one light gray wool underneath this black concrete. So that's one. Once you've done that, switch over to the white wool and add one white wool under... Or not white, no, sorry. Switch over to the white concrete. There you go. 
place one white concrete underneath uh, this... Actually, is it? No, okay, I'm confusing myself. I'm sorry, guys. White wool. I was right the first time. Place one white wool underneath this light gray. I'm sorry, I'm so confused. These colors, the shade of these colors are too close together. It's confusing me. Okay, so now that we have... Oh, this is going to be even more confusing. Hold on. Uh, I need more space, more space. Okay, so now that we have the light gray wool and the white wool, underneath the white wool, we're going to be placing one white concrete. So that's one. Shading are just, uh, getting a little trickier. Okay, so now that we have this one white con or one white concrete, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And then you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. Let's go to the placement block. Fly back a bit so you can see what it should look like that. Okay, so now that we're down here, let's start down here at the, the bottom left corner. Still with the white concrete uh, next to these two bla uh, next to these two gray concretes right there. We're going to be adding two white concretes going up. That's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now underneath this white concrete, we're going to be placing one light gray wool. So that's one light gray. And then switch over to the light gray concrete and place one light gray concrete underneath it. So that's one. Now let's go back on top of this one white wool. On top of this one white, uh, or one white, white concrete that is. On top of this one white concrete, we're going to be placing one light gray wool. So that's one. And then you're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta and place one cyan terracotta on top of it. So that's one. Okay, now let's move over here. Underneath this one black wool, we're going to go ahead and place one light gray concrete. So that's one. And then you're going to switch back over to the cyan terracotta and add one cyan terracotta underneath it. That's one. Okay, next we're going to move uh, down here. Uh, we're going to switch over to the white wool now, starting from the bottom block on the right side of these two white concretes. So starting from right there, we're going to be placing three whites going diagonal up to the right with the white wool. That is, so that's one, two, three, and that's three diagonal. All right, so now let's switch over to the white concrete. Down here, between the black concrete and the white wall, we're going to be filling in just this one spot with the white uh, concrete. So that's one. And then switch over to the light gray concrete. And this empty space right here gets filled in with the light gray concrete. So fill that in. And now on top of this white wall that's right next to the uh, light gray concrete that we just placed, so starting right there on top of it right here, we're going to be adding two blocks going up. That's one, two. And now switch over to the light gray wool. Add one light gray wool on top of it. So that's one. All right, moving on. Let's go back to this one white wool. On top of this one white wool, we're going to be adding one light, uh, not light, but one white concrete on top of it. So that's one white concrete. Once you've done that, switch back over to the white wool on top of this white wool. So from there, we're going to be adding three white walls going up. That's one, two, three. And once you've done that, let's head back to the bottom block of these three whites that we just placed. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one white wall. So that's one. Next, you're going to be switching over to the snow block. Now with the snow block, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the snow block. So fill this in with the snow block. Now fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can get a little organized here now that I had to use every single block so far. Get a little organized and go ahead, you, go ahead and put those blocks away or just organize them the, in, to the best that you can. And uh, switch back over to the black concrete because we're going to be doing a little more outlining uh, before we actually... We'll do one more outlining before we pause the video. I could have paused the video now, but, you know. Let's go back over here to the center block. That should still be there, by the way. That one black wall that we placed at the, at the very beginning of part one. If it's not, don't... If you got rid of it for some reason or if it's not there, go back over here. Uh, try to find this area. I'll put a placement block underneath it. You can see that the center block is directly underneath this one 
black uh, concrete. So for whatever reason, if you guys accidentally got rid of it or it wasn't there in the beginning or whatnot, just make sure to find this, okay? Find this one black concrete because it's directly under, or I should say it's the black wool is directly underneath this one black concrete, okay? So make sure, because this is important because we're going to start from there. And you know what? Just just to be safe, you can see one, two, three, four. It's four placements <laughs> from it. So we're gonna break this center block. Now we get to break the center block and place one black concrete. So that's one. All right, we're gonna replace that one black wool with the black concrete. So that's one concrete. Next, you're gonna be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements, head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one and two. Let's get rid of that placement block. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So I want to continue, but <laughs> I don't want to make the video too long, especially since I have other things to record. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Black Panther Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial in the next part. So make sure to stay tuned in for that, and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.